Ansu Fati beats Juan. Oh, releases Leo Messi. Messi's gotten through. Leo Messi, I cannot believe this, guys. In added time. Literally, the ref should have blown the whistle, but he didn't. Oh, Messi on the counter attack. This could be the goal that could kill off this match and make us La Liga champions. There goes Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann does it, guys. Barcelona. So here we are, Champions League final, Barcelona going up against Manchester City, we'll be facing Pep Guardiola to decide who becomes champions of Europe. In today's episode, we're going to be wrapping up season 2 and hopefully with the Champions League trophy in our hands. Last episode, we wrapped up La Liga, we won the Spanish League with a massive 103 points and before that, we also managed to win the Spanish Cup and here we are. Champions League final, an opportunity to become champions of Europe once again. We've had an amazing journey to make it to this Champions League final, knocking out AC Milan, knocking out Juventus, knocking out Bayern Munich as well and here we are up against Pep Guardiola's city to fight for that European trophy. So this is it, the final episode of the Barcelona career mode at least for now and I'm hoping we can make it memorable. This series man has been so good for the channel. I mean the first episode of the Barca career mode has gotten about 400,000 views. You guys have absolutely loved it which is honestly incredible. So let's keep the support going one final time on this series. Let's smash out 2000 likes. That would be amazing. If you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content. And let's get this episode underway. After we're done with the Champions League final, we're also going to have an After we're done with the Champions League final, we're also going to have an end of season award ceremony which should be a lot of fun, so stick around for that. A quick heads up, the next career mode that we're doing on this channel is going to be a bit different than normal. We're doing Leicester City, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be starting this Friday, brand new career mode, new team, new league. It should be an incredible amount of fun, so hopefully I'll see you guys on Friday for the first episode of the Leicester City career mode. Press conference time before the Champions League final. Let's get this one underway. First question, it's about the Leicester City career mode. It is great to see you guys getting excited for the brand new career mode on the channel, which by the way, starts this Friday. Is the Leicester City career mode going to be more of a realistic one? And I've got to say, yes, because I want to keep this series as realistic as possible because that way I think we can have a lot of fun with Leicester to try and build them to the very top of English football as well as Europe. I think that way we're going to have so much fun in this series. It's going to be challenging as well. And yeah, that's the plan. Next question, and this one's about Robert Lewandowski, who, by the way, has been absolutely killing it in the Bundesliga. In your opinion, will Lewandowski win a Ballon d'Or in the near future? I don't think so because he is basically the same age as Messi, probably a little younger. I'm not too sure about that. And that's why I cannot see Lewandowski win the Ballon d'Or. If you're competing against Leo Messi, you need to be doing something outrageous to even try and win the Ballon d'Or. And Robert Lewandowski, although he's scoring a lot of goals, for him to win the Ballon d'Or, I think he'll need to win the Champions League because the Bundesliga Bayern are going to win anyway. So... You know what, if Bayern actually managed to win the Champions League, which is very unlikely considering how they're playing in real life, we could be seeing next year Lewandowski win the Ballon d'Or. This year it's Leo Messi's or Virgil van Dijk's, but yeah, Lewandowski winning the Champions League might just push him to being, of course, a Ballon d'Or winner. So a lot of people have actually asked me this, will you stop the Barca career mode when you start a new series with Leicester? No, I'm not stopping the Barcelona career mode. We're just taking a break from it. So within like two months or so, we'll probably get back to the Barcelona career mode for season three and continue from where we left off. That's the plan. We're just taking a break to have some fun in the Premier League with a new team. A team that I don't think I've ever done before on my channel. I don't remember. Leicester City. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. So that's the press conference wrapped up. Let's now focus on the Champions League final. Last episode, we saw Neymar doing what he does best. Get past players through a few skill moves, elasticos and all that and score goals for us. And you guys absolutely love that. And that's why y'all voted for Neymar as your player of the episode. Winning the Champions League now is so important for us because you guys know the forfeit we've got for failing our objectives. We need to complete at least four to avoid any sort of forfeit. And the fourth objective now that we need to complete is winning the treble. So we've got to win the Champions League. Otherwise, we got to sign Phil Jones for Leicester City. I mean, that's going to be just tragic and we do not want that happening. So... We've got to win the Champions League to avoid doing any sort of forfeit. Apart from that, I think we've done pretty well with our objectives. The Champions League is only the last thing remaining. 
Let's take a quick look at the Premier League to see how Man City are perform. Let's take a quick look at the Premier League, a bit of scouting, man. Let's scout Man City a bit to see how they've performed and oh my goodness. They've been literally perfect in the Premier League. How is this even possible? They didn't lose a single game. They went invincible in the Premier League and we're going up against this side. Oh my god, are we in for a battle? They scored 114 goals and conceded just 15. 108 points, man. This, this is insane. We're going up against Pep Guardiola's Man City that are just unbelievable. Oh man, I'm not ready for this. This is going to be one hell of a final. Dembele is in good form. Will we see more of Dembele? I don't think so. In this final, maybe as a super sub, but I'm going to start Messi, Neymar and Griezmann. They are our front three for the big games and we will be seeing them in the final starting. You're about to face Man City in the final, who's a strong opponent. Can you tell how do you manage the fatigue? Um, It's been a long season. They've had so many Premier League games. So I guess the question or the answer really is they're as tired as we are. Both teams are tired. It's all about who wants to win this final more. Who can put in a better performance? Who's the better team? That's what's going to decide the final. I don't think fatigue is an issue. Take a look at the Champions League's top scorers so far. And we've got Tadic, who's currently the Golden Boot winner with 9 goals in 10 games. Calvert-Lewin with 8, Aguero, we've got to be careful of him, he's got 7 as well, Mane with 7, Lemar with 7, Leo Messi is involved in there with 6, we've got Griezmann coming in with 5, any more Barcelona players in the top 15? No. Assist-wise, we've got Griezmann and Messi with 6 assists and 5 assists each, Messi with 5 of course, anyone else in the top 25? No we don't. Clean sheets, do we have any Barca player in there? We've got Testegen with 6 clean sheets. Take a look at this, guys. Roma managed to win the Europa League, beating, of course, um, Chelsea in the final. But it's now time for the Champions League final. We won the league. We won the Spanish Cup. Let's go out there and complete the treble. One thing that's definitely going to help us in this final is that the player morale is really high for literally every player in the starting eleven. Like, everyone's morale is very happy. And because of that, they're all getting plus fives and plus eights in their stats, which I'm sure is going to help us out tremendously. So this is the team that we're going for for this Champions League final against Manchester City. We've got Neymar and Griezmann starting up top. We're using the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. It's the formation I'm really comfortable with, so I'm hoping it works. Neymar's level did drop off a bit in the recent few episodes, but last episode he was brilliant, so it seems like he's back in form. We've got Griezmann up top as well. Leo Messi captains the team in that camp position. Arthur De Jong and Bernardo Silva is going to be our midfield for this final. Grimaldo Aldo and Trent on either side, Longley and Koulibaly as our defenders, Ter Stegen and goal. This is the Barcelona side that's hopefully going to win us our 7th Champions League trophy, the 7th one in Barca's history. Let's go out there and beat Man City. That is what we're playing for guys, Barcelona and Man City playing for that Champions League trophy. I can't wait to see what kind of a team Man City are rocking. Take a look at how Man City made it in this final. They knocked out Leo, they knocked out Atletico Madrid, then they got past Spurs. We of course had a more difficult run to the final, but I think both teams deserve to be here. The Champions League anthem in the background, it just makes this moment even more epic. A lot of people in the comments wanted this as the Champions League final, you know, me going up against Pep. And I can't wait for it. This is going to be a tremendous game of football. So this is the City team we're playing against. And they've got Coutinho on the bench. Riyad Mahrez as well. Their first team has got Sane, Aguero and Sterling. A midfield of De Bruyne, Royce and Rodri. That is insane. They've got PK at the back. PK playing against this former side. What's he doing at City? Jonathan Ta as well. That Man City team is no joke. Up front and their midfield is ridiculous. But I'm sure we can exploit the fact that PK has basically got no pace. We've got to be calm and composed in this game. I definitely want to be the team on the front foot. Bernardo playing against this former side. Zata might have a chance here to shoot, but City defending well early on in this one. Raheem Sterling using his pace to beat Longley. Whips in a dangerous cross. Aguero controls it brilliantly, but he couldn't shoot afterwards, which did give us a lot of time to, you know, avoid conceding there. That was a close one. That was a really close one. Could easily be 1-0 Man City. Yo, that is a bad foul on Bernardo Silva. I don't know if you guys saw that, but Kevin De Bruyne could be in trouble for that. A sliding challenge from behind? Only a yellow card. I would have loved to see that be a red card. Would have made things a lot easier for us. But I definitely want to show you guys the replay because 
That was a nasty one from Bernardo. Literally caught Bernardo in his ankles there. Could have easily been a red card. Antoine Griezmann as Barcelona look to attack with Leo Messi. Messi's broken through. Still Messi. Messi on that left foot. Oh, Messi has done it in the Champions League final. Leo Messi is the man to score the first goal for us and to open scoring. He's going to go to the camera, do his classic celebration as Barcelona make it 1-0 against Manchester City in the final. Just moments ago, there was a controversial situation where maybe De Bruyne could have been sent off, but he only got a yellow card. But ultimately, Leo Messi gets into Man City's box and punishes them. Again, them having PK at the back isn't really working. They've got really slow defenders and we're taking complete advantage of that. Messi scores the first of this final as Barcelona take the lead. Still Marco Royce looking to create something, finds Kevin De Bruyne, Frankie de Jong putting his body on the line there to save that, that was brilliantly defended by the Dutchman. Man City look to respond from a corner, Raheem the Dream Sterling now on the ball. Goes back to Sane, I read that but Sane still has it, Kevin De Bruyne finds Alaba who shoots and wow the ball literally just rocketed off Marc-Andre de Stegen. Man City are going for it but now we might have an opportunity to counter, oh that's well defended by Man City. Man City pressing us incredibly well, which is creating a lot of chances for them as now it's Jao Cancelo. Still Cancelo. Scoop turns inside, finds Sterling, but long lays up to it. Good save, but we are struggling now. Raheem Sterling again on the ball. We just can't find a way to, you know, get possession back. And that is really problematic as De Bruyne shoots, but Grimaldo blocks it. Kevin De Bruyne on the ball, looks to curl it in and to Stegen. Oh my goodness, the German with an incredible save. Honestly, I thought that was going in because the finesse shot looked like it was going to hit the top right corner. But to Stegen's outstretched right arm with the save. Brilliant scenes from, of course, our goalkeeper. Oh, on the counter-attack we go and oh my god, we've broken through PK space, costing him once again. Look at how much faster Neymar is. Neymar should score this and we make it too easy. This is actually crazy. PK is costing Man City. After all, I guess he's got the Barcelona DNA in him, so he's helping us out here. He's also a former United player. He's probably going to get abused a lot by City fans after this game because... Oh my god, both goals we've scored is because of Gerard Piquet. Literally, City were dominating this game from, you know, when we scored. But one counter-attack, his pace got completely abused by Neymar. And all we had to do was simply put it past the keeper. And we did that with ease as Barcelona make it 2-0. Completely against the run of play as well. A bit hilarious, to be honest. Pep's fuming. Honestly, it feels a bit weird. We're at halftime, we're leading 2-0. I should be happy about our performance, but the truth is... Man City with a better team and somehow we're winning 2-0. It doesn't make sense, but I'll take it, man. It's the Champions League final. It just matters that we win. Like, I mean, look at the stats. We've been dominated in this game. I mean, 61% possession for City. They've had more shots, but we've had less shots and somehow we're leading. I'll take it, though. De Bruyne inside. Oh, that's dangerous. Come on. We've let Man City back in this game. Kevin De Bruyne's insane crossing is coming true in FIFA as well. Like, what a cross from KDB. I can't even be angry at that. Sterling with a brilliant finish as well, but he didn't really have much to do. But look at that cross with De Bruyne's weaker left foot. Unreal. And then Sterling doing what he does best, putting the ball in the back of the net as Barcelona. Now are a bit nervy, I guess, because Man City have gotten themselves back into this one. And I'll tell you what, guys, they've been the better side all game long, so we've got to be really careful now. What on earth are we doing? We've gifted the ball back to Man City as now they're pushing forward with a lot of intent as Royce is through and no way he slides it through beyond Ter Stegen. And Marco Royce gets Man City back in this game. They've literally scored twice on us. How have we given away a 2-0 lead? We're normally the team making all the insane comebacks, but in this Champions League final, City have managed to turn it around and we're not looking in a good situation at all. We gotta get our shit together, man. That's the best way to put it. We've gotta focus and we need to keep possession better and hopefully we'll see Leo Messi, Neymar or Griezmann, one of them, take their chances because I'm sure we've got the quality to beat City. City again doing extremely well on the ball. Kevin De Bruyne doing well. Out wide to Sterling and now inside to Rodri. Rodri finds De Bruyne who unleashes a shot but Ter Stegen this time did make the save. It's a corner for City and we know De Bruyne can whip in some quality balls on the dead ball situation as Arthur clears it away. Man, this game's been stressful. I've got to say, unfortunately, it hasn't been Antoine Griezmann's night and that's why I'm going to bring on Usman Dembele for the final. He's been a bit disappointing and also I'm going to bring on Fabian for Arthur and we'll be playing Fabian in that CDM role and playing De Jong a bit further forward. I think that should help us keep possession more often. 
Here's Neymar. That's a very good touch there. Releases Bernardo Silva. Dembele could be through if Bernardo can find the pass. He can't. That's brilliant defending from Man City, man. They've really fought us with everything they've got in this second half. Oh, God, no. Man City have a chance to win the Champions League there. Mark andre Ter Stegen has just saved us. Wow. Absolutely insane there from the German. Messi to Usman Dembele on the other hand, can we end up winning the Champions League? Neymar releases Grimaldo, this could actually be it, Grimaldo stops it, I see Dembele making a good run, Dembele shoots and it's in! 89th minute, Barcelona have taken the lead and it's Usman Dembele who's probably just scored the most important goal of the series. He's been out of the team for the most part but he comes on as a sub in the Champions League final and ends up probably winning us the trophy. How crazy is that? It takes a big deflection of the goalkeeper and goes in, but I don't think he'll care. Usman Dembele coming up clutch in the Champions League final as Barcelona make it 3-2 in the 89th minute. This is just insane. What a final. Yo, man, we've done it. We've won the Champions League in the most dramatic of fashions. A late goal coming in from Usman Dembele. We brought him on as a sub, but now he's become a Barca legend forever. Gerard Piquet cannot believe it, but I'm sure deep down inside he's happy because... His club's Barcelona and they've won it. But we've done it, guys. Champions League trophy in the back for the second season in a row. We've made it seven, baby. Barcelona with seven Champions League trophies now in their history. I still cannot believe in the way we won the final, man. Absolutely insane. First half, 2 nil up. I thought we were cruising. Yes, we were being dominated, but the scoreline was in our favor. But then City made the comeback and they had chances to win the tournament. But ultimately, Ter Stegen came up clutch. And then we did the rest. And now we've got Leo Messi lifting the Champions League trophy. Barcelona, champions of Europe once again. What a way to wrap up season two. What an amazing run. Any final thoughts? I'm just going to say such determination and force because that's what got us through. I thought City were the better team overall, but we just fought till the very end. And in the 89th minute, Dembele scored. You were lucky to score the late winner, weren't you? I'm just gonna say sometimes you need a bit of luck, especially in finals, it can go either way. And thankfully this time it went ours. This was such a thrilling season, man. This was such a thrilling season, man. Champions League winners in the most dramatic fashion. And it was just an unbelievable run in this competition. I had so much fun, but we did it. We won the Champions League. We won La Liga as well by just a point. 103 over 102 of Atletico Madrid. Real Madrid as well came close with 101. It was just an insane season. And La Liga was crazy, but we somehow managed to win the league. We also destroyed Real Madrid in the Spanish Cup final. And with that, we've completed the treble. Here's a quick look at our season objectives one final time. And we did it. We completed four out of our six objectives, which means we don't have to sign Phil Jones with Leicester City. So, yep, that is brilliant. We, of course, completed the next big talent, scoring and assisting 25 goals. With Ansu Fati, we kept 15 clean sheets in La Liga. We also scored 10 times from outside the box. And, of course, we won the treble. Of course, we're not done yet. First up, let's take a detailed look at the stats of all our players this season. And then we're going to have the end of season award ceremony. So Frankie de Jong was our most used player this season, playing 48 times, Ter Stegen coming in with 46, Griezmann coming in with 44, Messi playing 41 times for his age, that's tremendous, Dembele with 39 games played, he's actually played quite a bit to be honest, you know, Koulibaly with 38 games, we've got Longley coming in with 38, Bernardo with 37 and so on. Goals-wise, Antoine Griezmann ends this season as our top goal scorer with 31 goals scored. Leo Messi coming in with 29, Lautaro coming in with 20, Ansu Fati coming in with 17 and Neymar coming in with 15. Assists-wise, Griezmann and Leo Messi tied for the top spot with 17 assists each. We've got Ansu Fati coming up with a big contribution of 13, Fabian with 11, Alenia with 9, Arthur with 9, Neymar with 8 and so on. So player growth-wise, Oscar Hara went up by 8 ratings, which I guess is pretty good, in fact quite good. When we do get back to the Barca career mode, I can't wait to use Oscar Hara once again, Diego Rodriguez, the player we sent out on loan, went up by 6 ratings. Look at that sprint speed boost, up to 80. Ricky Puig up by 5, Ansu Fati up by 5, Kubo up by 4. A lot of players in fact going up by 4. We've got Lautaro who went up by 3 ratings. Dembele up by 2 and Arthur, Fabian all going up by 2 ratings. Ter Stegen and all going up by 1. Bernardo as well now 90 rated. A few players retain their overall. Leo Messi the only player to go down. He's down to a 91 now and I mean look at them stats man, going down massively. 
really frustrating but the fact that he's still 91 at the age of 33 is just ridiculous so i'm sure you guys have been waiting for this it is now time for the end of season awards ceremony basically we're gonna have four categories two nominees each for each category and you guys are gonna get to vote for your pick the first award is going to be young player of the season and to be nominated for this you've got to be under the age of 23 so these two are your couple of nominees trent alexander arnold and ansu fati both were brilliant this season trent of course had a bigger role to play as he was our first choice right back he he was brilliant this season with assists, coming up with a few goals as well. He scored in the Spanish Cup final if I'm not wrong and defensively he was brilliant as well. What a signing. Ansu Fati, we all know how important he turned out to be. Scored against Madrid in a Clasico twice if I'm not wrong and was just brilliant all round whenever given the opportunity. So those two are your nominees for best young player of the season. The next award is going to be best transfer of the season. A couple of nominees for this one. We did make quite a few big transfers this season, but these two were better than the rest. First one, Neymar. He was brilliant for us this season since we signed him. And what a player he is. Only had six months with us, but did score in the Champions League final for us. A big mega signing. He is the highest paid player of the club, so he had to be nominated. And your second nominee, Bernardo Silva, who we signed in the summer transfer window, has had a good season for us. Was brilliant ever since we signed him from Man City, another big money signing. So your options are Bernardo Silva or Neymar. Next award is goal of the season. Now, we've scored some cracking goals throughout this season, but these two were better than the rest. Scored by Griezmann and Bernardo Silva. Take a look at the goals first and then decide on who to vote. Sees Antoine Griezmann on that left foot of his. Tries to put this one in Antoine Griezmann from outside the box. Oh my days, what a strike from Griezmann. I did not expect this one to go and I just thought, let's just try a shot from outside the box. Just see where it goes. I was expecting an easy save from the goalkeeper. Instead, Griezmann has just slammed it home. And maybe we'll respond with this attack. As here goes Bernardo. He's on a brilliant run. Still, Bernardo Silva gets it on his left foot. Curls it in. Bernardo Silva with a sensational goal. As we've taken the lead against Valencia. And I've got to say, this has come against the run of play. Bernardo on the counter-attack goes on a solo run from basically the halfway line. Two absolutely fantastic goals and it's completely in your hands to decide who wins these awards. Make sure to click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for any of them. Now, it's time for the big one. Player of the season. Now, I'm sure you guys know who are the players getting nominated. And it was actually tough because there were three players who I wanted to include. But of course, we can include only two. And they are Leo Messi and Antoine Griezmann. Ter Stegen just about misses out. A bit frustrating, I know, but it is what it is. Leo Messi was amazing this season, especially in the second half of the season where he scored important goal after important goal for us. In the Champions League, he was by far our best player. Although he didn't finish as our top scorer this season, he was amazing. And the man that finished as our top scorer, Antoine Griezmann, had to be nominated. What a season he's had for us. And that's why the award is between these two. Griezmann, Leo Messi for player of the season. Click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. So that is the end of season award ceremony wrapped up. So guys, that is that for the Barcelona career mode. At least for now, we've wrapped up season two as champions of Spain, Spanish Cup winners, and of course champions of europe it's been an incredible journey you know recording these episodes for you guys you all have absolutely smashed it with the support on this series and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy what's coming next leicester city career mode begins this friday but man really hope you guys enjoyed this final episode subscribe if you haven't already drop a like in the video let's smash out 2000 likes and yeah it's time to end this we'll be back soon with the barca career mode in a few months but for now i'll see you guys next time